All right, guys, your boy the Anthony coming at you with another trailer review. Uh, so I guess the solo trailer review came out last night. So let's take a look at it right now. See what we think. See if this is the the, the solo that we really want to see, or is this going to be another failure? Let's just check it out. See what's going on here. As soon as it starts, it's having a little trouble. It's loading. Maybe I'm not on the Wi-Fi. You're after something. Is it revenge? Money? Or is it something else? You look good. A little rough around the edges, but good. Heard about a job. Big shot gangster putting together a crew. I'm a driver, and I'm a flyer. I waited a long time for a shot like this. What do you think? Uh... Well, what do you know? You got a line on a ship? Yeah, I know a guy. He's the best smuggler around. I heard a story about you. I was wondering if it's true. Everything you've heard about me is true. <laughs> L3! Let go of the mean man's face. Who are these guys? If you come with us, you're in this life for good. You might want to buckle up, baby. Here they come! Let me give you some advice. We assume everyone will betray you. And you will never be disappointed. I got a really good feeling about this. When do you know how to fly? 190 years old? You look great. Push it! I mean, that one looks a lot better. I, I would say that one looks a lot better than the other trailer that they gave us. I'm not really too sold on this solo. Because I'm like, he was pretty young in part four. How old is he here? Is he a teenager? 18, 19? Because he, he looked about like 21, 22... Ah, 25 at the most in part four. So how young are we talking? I'm not, I, I don't know. His his demeanor doesn't really say Han to me. I'm not looking for him to be, uh, you know, the actor, but I need him to be the character though. The character, like he, he doesn't need to be Harrison Ford, but he needs to be Han Solo. And I'm not really reading Han Solo off the trailers. Um, but like Rogue One, we didn't really have anything that was in the trailer in the movie, so never know what might happen. But they just finalized it. They just finished it up uh, last week. They just finished the movie as far as like sound and editing and things like that. Um, so it's done. No more reshoots coming out, you know, in, in May. So it is what it is. I don't know. Um, I think that, I'm going to call her Daenerys, I don't know her real name, it's fine as hell, and whenever she's in something, it just enhances it for sure, for me anyway. Um, Chewie being a, a pivotal part of it, it's probably a good idea, being that the, the solo character, it's just, he's not, kind of, not convincing me at the moment. I'm kind of sold on the Lando though, the Lando, it's pretty cool, got the little mink coat on, things like that. You know, you want to buckle up, baby. You know, I don't know why you're talking to a droid like that, but that is some sly, slick stuff that, you know, you would hear from him. So, I'm, I'm buying that. Um, don't really know much about the villain. He looked kind of cool. We got, like, he's like the pivotal of Scarface. Um, so, we'll see what happens with that. But, 
I, it just really needs to feel like a Star Wars movie, a, a Han Solo movie. I need to see a lot of character development. Now, if he's all goofy in the beginning, and then he becomes more of a serious person, more suave, you know, towards the end of the story arc, then I'm cool with that because that's character development. Um, but it needs to be something pivotal that happens and makes him change into that. It can't just be one day he woke up, he's going to be a cool, suave guy. Can't do that. I want to see when he won a Millennial Falcon from Lando. I want to see all that. I want to see those little details. Uh, of course, you want to see the Kessel run. Um, yeah. As long as I get those things, I think I'll be okay. I mean, I'm going to see it either way. Everyone's going to go see it. But are we going to see it twice? Are we going to buy the DVD? That's the thing that's going to separate this movie from, like, the original trilogy, The Force Awakens, and even the the, the prequels. I have the prequel DVDs. Um, so, I don't have Rogue One DVD. Not going to buy it. So, I did buy The Last Jedi. Just because I, I wanted to like it as much as possible. It's okay. I'm coming out with a, a comedic commentary for it, though. So, check that out probably in a few days. Alright guys, your boy DeAndre, that's what I thought about it. I thought it was okay. It was a better trailer than the first one. Let me know what you thought. Is it something that makes you want to go see the movie? Is it hyping you up a little bit more? Or is it just kind of like, eh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And check out the comedic commentary. Um, very funny. Very uh, witty. I think it's going to make you think and laugh. And I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm out, baby. Peace.